Go away. Get out of here. Okay, okay. I'm going. You ought to get your head examined. Good night. Gee, my friend, don't leave me. Take me with you. Max will let go of me. Gee, get me out of here. Gee, gee. There's no better way to spend Halloween than sitting around with some friends swapping scary ghost stories. That's pretty much what happens in Dead of Night, an obscure and fascinating 1945 British film. That's it? Your glasses? What about my glasses? It's later on. We're having drinks. You break those glasses of yours, and then, quite suddenly, the room goes dark. It has a bunch of different stories in it, kind of like one of those Treehouse of Horror episodes on The Simpsons. But they're held together by a framing narrative about a man who drives out to a house in the country and encounters a group of people who he's seen before, but only in his dreams. To make him feel a little better, they tell him stories about their own encounters with the supernatural. Doctor, may I hope that you'll be able to explain to me a happening which, to put it mildly, has always puzzled me. Each of these tales has a different director, and each one has a slightly different flavor and tone. There's a ghostly Victorian Gothic element in the story of a dead child. There's a sort of Edgar Allan Poe quality in a tale of a man with a haunted mirror. There's nothing wrong with the mirror. I look in it often. I sit here and look at these four walls, and then for a change I look at them in the mirror. There's an almost Samuel Beckett stoical comedy going on in a story about a pair of golf buddies who are in love with the same woman. And there's a wonderfully creepy sequence with a marvelously unhinged Michael Redgrave playing a ventriloquist, driven mad by his dummy. Suppose I tell him that you made me do it? Try it and see what happens. They'll put you in the madhouse, but not little Hugo. Oh no, I'm going to team up with Sylvester. Maybe we'll come and visit you. You know, private show for the loony. Ah. Oh, Maxwell, I don't get excited. I was only joking. You know me. Maxwell! <laughs> Dead of Night is a product of the Ealing Film Studios, which is best known among film buffs for the wonderful comedies that it turned out in the 1940s and early 1950s. And this movie does have a lot of wit, a lot of style, a certain quality of Englishness. It's a very unusual movie, and it's not well known at all among American audiences. Although you may find an eerie premonition of that place that you know very well called the Twilight Zone. This movie's not easy to find, but it's worth hunting for in dusty, antique, out-of-the-way video stores. Bring it to your friends, show it to them. They'll be amazed and terrified. You have not told me yet what it is that you are compelled to do, Craig. To kill someone. Someone who's never done me any harm. Who wishes me nothing but good. A man without defense. Because he is lost in the dark. Doctor, why did you have to break your glasses? <laughs>